Honolulu City Council members want to fast track a temporary ban on monster homes. People who live near them say they're a big problem, but could this hurt multi generational families looking to expand their homes? Bridget Namata follows up. Monster homes have no place in a residential neighborhood, says Councilman Ikaika Anderson. 15 or more bedrooms, 15 or more bathrooms, uh, 15 or more vehicles parked all over the place. That is just not appropriate and was never intended for an area that's zoned for single family homes. Today, city council members made revisions to a proposal that would place a two year ban on applications for new large detached dwellings that residents from Kaimuki to Kaniohe say are invading their neighborhoods. It's obvious that from anyone looking at it, it looks like a Motel 6 on the mainland. I have concerns about traffic, parking, drainage, noise, safety, and impacts to the neighborhood. But at the end of the day, it's very clear that these homes are taxing our neighborhoods. Members of a city council committee agreed to consider a monster home any dwelling over 3,500 square feet. Though council members Trevor Ozawa and Kimberly Pine were concerned it could affect multi generational families. Let's make sure that when we're going through this, that we don't end up getting uh, tying up people that are trying to actually just add on a little bit to their house. Later, Anderson told me he understood his fellow council members' concerns. That said, there is a safety valve in this bill that if anyone desires to build a home outside of what's allowed, then they would have the option of coming before the city council, making their case to the council for their building permit. The bill would also limit these homes to two wet bars, one laundry room, increase setbacks for yards, and mandatory parking plans. Four or more parking spaces will require vehicles exit in a forward manner and limit tandem parking to two stacked parking stalls. Councilman Anderson says he wants to pass the proposal to law ASAP. He hopes to have it done by February 13th. If it passes, the proposal would immediately take effect. I'll follow this bill and let you know if it makes it to the finish line. Dash.